G'day, Nick Bowdish here. Um, today I want to talk about resentment and how hanging on to resentment can sometimes be so crippling and so debilitating that it actually ends up hurting you more than the initial thing that you have the resentment for, the initial person that you have that resentment for, whatever it might be. It actually cumulatively, cumulatively builds up to hurt you even more. And I guess there's a lot of sort of thinking that would say, you know, just let, let it go. You've got to let it go. You've got to forgive. You've got to accept. You've got to do all these things and then your, set, your resentment will be gone. Well, if you work that shit out, let me know <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll do the same, right? But in the meantime, I think sometimes it's important for us to be able to just find a different space for that resentment to live in, in our brains, in our minds. You know, sometimes ridding yourself of that resentment is just too fucking hard. It's too big. It's too fresh. It's too painful. It hurts too much. And you don't want to. Sometimes it actually serves you to keep that for a while, to spur you on, to to promote change in your own life, to do whatever it might be. But sometimes when you hang on to it for just that bit too long or for a long way too long, it turns you into a bitter mess. It turns you into someone that can't live without the resentment sometimes. And I think we all know people like that. So if you're not able to dispense of that resentment straight away today, if you're not able to cleanse yourself of all the hurts that have happened to you, all that, all that resentment you hold and you keep hanging on to, maybe just think about trying to put it in a different space. Try to take the oxygen away out of it a little bit try to draw the power from it a little bit and then live maybe alongside it as opposed to without it. You know, there's a lot of teaching, a lot of media and a lot of videos like this that say just just rid yourself of it. You've got to let it go, you know. It's like drinking a, drinking a cup of poison and expecting the other person to die, that sort of reasoning, which actually makes sense. But when you're in it, it's, sometimes it's really hard to let that go. So I, if you're in that space, I would support you to maybe think about how you just differentiate it, how you sit it over here next to you, how you park it in a different part of your brain so that it's not right in front of your face all the time so that you can continue to live and be a better version of yourself every day without being weighed down by the hurt and the misery that some other person has caused you. I hope you find that today. Find some kindness, spend some of it on yourself today. See ya.